Excuse me. That's not your food. Bold. Teaching everybody bad habits, you are, Inca. I was asked how I do my head-on stampedes and that it must be a complicated thing. Well, I'll show you. This is the flock ready to feed. There's the troughs with the food. Now, I've got to turn off one sec. Flip the camera around. Okay, the sheep are all lined up. This is my tripod. So the sheep are going to avoid it or try to avoid it. So they're going to jump over it. So, next thing I'll do is switch the phone onto slow-mo and put it right there. Okay, we're on slow-mo. We descend to lean against the bucket. There we go. And Inca's inspecting. There we go. Okay, no, Inca, there's nothing there. Okay, now. And there you go. That is how I do my slow-mo. I do a little edit as I decrease the capacity of where the slow-mo occurs. Because I'm still on slow-mo. The bucket is still there. And the sheep all avoided it. Now I've got to close gates and organize. I've got a tour coming today. And they're going to want to witness a few stampedes of sheep getting food so I've got to do some prep work these guys have to go back out into that field over there so when the tour group is walking down the drive the sheep will come here and then I'll set it up and they'll stampede through, stampede through here so it's a big tour so there'll be some people on that side of the gate and then I'll have some people on this side of the gate to make it exciting and fun so they can all film the flock coming through there there we go Anyway, I better quick before they finish their food. Look at these bold lambs sticking their heads through my homemade bamboo fence. I've got to rejuvenate the bamboo fence. Come on. Come on. 
month. Hey, Brindle, leave it. You good? Go back to your mother. I no, no, bold. Go on. Oh, glass. Ha. Okay, one alpaca is out. You t you've got to stay in here. Sorry. Oh, that's annoying. Very annoying. Nope, you're staying here. I don't want two of you browsing all the trees. Yeah. Well, at least they'll only be there till the... Uh, Tour group comes. Oh Lord, a touch of scald there. I'll have to treat you. I'll have to catch you and treat you. Look at that bold alpaca. She's having a lovely time herding the sheep. You want to go out. You're not going to go out. Sorry. You're going to be stuck on this side. Okay, hopefully she will think the electric fence around the plantations is live for at least the day. Shame on me. These are such hard-working hoverflies. Look at this. This is alive with them seeking to pollinate. These are the pollinators. All different kinds of pollinators here. There's a fly, two different kinds of hoverflies, a third, fourth hoverfly. Look at that. They're all there seeking for pollen. You can see there's there's been about four different kinds of insects seeking pollen from this. There you can see a fly and a hoverfly are two. Whoops, the wind. Then here's a second flower, and that's a third different kind of hoverfly pollinator. Sorry, the wind is blowing it all over the place. So those are all being worked on. There's three different kinds of insects on that. Woo! Sorry, this is going to make somebody seasick, I'm sure. So getting ready for a tour to arrive. It was a lot, rather large tour to show off the blankets. And this is an old uh, flax uh, spinning wheel that came here over 130 or more years ago. Not to this farm, but that's the age of this from the UK for establishing spinning industry. And it was used for spinning wool here in this country, but it was originally known as a flax wheel. Then we go into my wool room and I've got a fire going so here's the demos and some my spinning wheels all set up lovely fire in the fireplace and different bits of wool done different things my bed blanket that wonderful uh, beautifully felt um, not rugged piece by a fan of mine from Florida. These are two sweaters knit out of, this was raw fleece done by this man in uh, Dublin. That somebody's knitted out of one of, out of my yarn that was spun by Cushendale Woolen Mill. And this is a felted um, fleece. And this is another felted fleece. So there's my book. So there we go. And of course, the wool goddess. There you go, wool goddess. Anyway, and uh, the two chaperones ready for, to greet the people coming uh, from, I don't know where they're coming from. They come from, from Canada, France, USA, elsewhere in Ireland, I have no idea. Anyway. And luckily, the sun is beginning to shine, which is nice. Thank goodness. I was worried it was going to be raining. Okay, ladies. 
I'm gonna release them to stampede for the tour group. Uh, 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 uh.